Okay, so cruising around the prospect pits and I couldn't help but notice this beautiful, beautiful, uh, looks like an S15. So we're here with Daniel and Casey. Uh, tell me a little bit about this car. What is this thing? So it's a JZ S chassis. Sick. We all love those. Uh, it's a S14. We made the carbon fiber conversion kit to do 15 front and rear end. Way sick looking. So first thing that I noticed when I walked up was, first off, how far over your turbo is? What What's up with that manifold setup? So we had a fabricator working at M-Spec with us. Uh, he decided he wanted to make the manifold himself and tried to do some cool badass stuff that puts the turbo farther away to keep heat down uh, and weight balance, I suppose, too. Uh, so he made that. Um, the gates get a little hot down in there. Yeah. But besides that, it, it, it's unique. It's dope looking, I love it. So uh, that's a precision turbo, what size is that? Uh, 6466. 6466, so is it a three liter? Yeah, still three liter stock compression. Okay, you have dual injectors for each one of the cylinders. What's up with that? So we get real nice idle off the thousand. And then basically as we're transitioning into boost, it starts bringing the 17s in and they both equalize out at about like 40% injector duty. Sick. Yeah, we have tons of room in case anything starts going off. We got the EGTs and everything. So we can add 60% injector duty across thousands and 17s in case anything goes weird. So sick. I love it. And what kind of fuel is it on? Uh, it's on Ignite Red. Ignite, so it's ethanol. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So obviously a rear mount radiator. I don't see a radiator up here. Yep. A couple of Rad Industries parts right there. Yep. I see yep. the, the, the Jay-Z goodness. So yeah, plasma man intake. I mean, this is this is sick, guys. I love it. So you're running a par shot max suspension, it looks like. Yes, all the way around, full limit brake. Okay, cool. yeah, yeah. Par shot max shreds. S chassis stuff is awesome. Killing it. Nicely done, guys. So let's go check out the inside real quick. Cool. So the inside of this thing looks awesome. First thing I noticed is the carbon fiber dash. Yep. That kind of seems to be your guys' like go-to. You guys do everything carbon Kevlar. Yeah, we didn't actually make this one. The guy passed away. This and is I think the this last was dash in existence the last that this guy made. I can't remember. I can't yeah. remember the name of the company. Right. Yeah, but, but great stuff. It's, right. yeah, it's yeah, fantastic, yeah, yeah, but it's literally the last one, so. Wow, that's yeah. kind of a crazy story, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, sick dash, and you're like, well, actually. Uh, yeah, we're probably, and, we're, honestly, we're probably gonna pull it and mold it. Um, yeah, yeah. So I just got my license, and we're gonna be building basically an identical car. Um, I'm gonna continue in my 13 for now, but then we're gonna build another one of these so we can be in the exact same car and we'll probably mold it. Congrats, dude, that's awesome. Thank Nicely you. done. And I, I couldn't help but notice, is that a 380 mil wheel? Yeah, I like the big wheels. Ah, dude, Travis put it in his car uh, when, when he built his new E46, yeah. and I really, really wanna try it. Yeah. Like, I really feel like it could be something that would be pretty sweet. It's cool. Uh, we kind of switched back and forth. I've, I've kind of been like on the edge or on the line with going yeah. back to the small wheel because it's quicker, but then the leverage. The leverage, leverage is nice. Is good, right? uh, any little mistake you make is more noticeable with little wheels. It kind of makes everything more dramatic. Right, I feel right. Like, so. so you can give it a big input and it probably won't do as much to the front exactly. tires. Yeah, so it exactly. kind of smooths you out a little yep. bit, I can see. So, and that's interesting to hear you guys say that you went from a sequential back to a four speed. What do you what do you think about that? Uh, I love it. I love it. You know, I went from his 13, which is another Jay-Z four speed, and all my street cars are all H pattern, obviously. So. Right. Jumping into this car with the sequential in here was just a giant step and I felt like I was in more of a spaceship like than a, a video car. Game. <laughs> so I, I don't know, uh, maybe subconsciously I kind of like to throw my body around while I'm doing stuff and part of that rhythm uh, is the H pattern. Okay. And, I, and going back to the H pattern, I just kind of, so I used always to know where I am. Yeah, yeah exactly. Very yeah. cool, very cool. Well, that's good to hear. And like you said, simplicity is key and I'm a firm yep. believer in that. Definitely. I don't even have a sequential in my car. I'm just a big fan of the Andrews box. So right. I, I really do love it. But uh, lots of fab work going on in here. So who did the trans tunnel and all the fab work, like the cage and everything? everything. That's you. Yep. Cool. Yep. Wow, wow. Uh, me, and, me and one yeah, other guy, yeah. he's not with us, um, but one of my good friends, he's a hell of a fabricator, basically. Me and him kind of came up together, and so we did. We pretty much did everything together in the car. Very cool. I mean, it looks good. Nice work, dude. So, uh, I see an AIM dash display. What kind of ECU do you run? Uh, Motec. Motec? Uh, 150. Wow, yeah. sick. Yeah, proper. Yeah, proper. Yeah, M M150 and then a PDM30 for Motec as well. Wow, nice. Nice equipment. That's, I mean, best of the best, right? It works. That's it works really stuff. good. That's yeah. Awesome. So firewall behind, right. kind of like creates like your own little cockpit, and then it, it gives you a lot of real estate for the back. Definitely. Yeah. Less smoke. Less smoke, Less smoke too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, dude, this thing is awesome. I love it. Thank you. I love it. Got the up top airplane keypad yeah. too. All right. It looks nice like little... it's Bluetooth well wired. <laughs> Nice and hidden. Look at you guys, yeah. dude. Yep. Killing it. So, Willwood pedals? Yes. Yep. Willwood pedals. You you a fan of the hanging pedals rather than the I am. Yeah, yeah. And he made a cool, he, everything on this car, he just did a great job on. He made a cool hanging assembly 
that's adjustable up, down, front, back, and tilt. Right. So and literally, side, side. yeah, you yeah, can put the pedals wherever you yeah, want. Yeah, someone mm -hmm. needs to rent the car or something like that, or I want a little more leg room or a different seat or something. Everything's always adjustable. Oh, yeah. Well, good job planning ahead. That's awesome. Yeah. Let's check out the trunk. Cool. So like we were saying about the real estate with having that firewall move forward a little bit, I mean, look, you guys even have a bunch of empty room. Like, yeah. I and feel like there is room for activities back right, there. Exactly. That is, uh, we had the nitrous and the dry sump all mounted back here. And it was a little cluttered, but it still wasn't horrible. Yeah. Um, but yeah, now it's just a big tire and dirt collector. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But the cool part about that is you can just hose it off whenever exactly. you want, right? Yeah. That's the best part. So uh, what's up with the fuel cell? So it's a fuel safe fuel cell. Um, so the same one that Matt Field had in his 14 yep. is actually okay. the Drift K fuel cell. So sing single fuel pump, it's a air motive brushless three and a half gallon a minute pump. And then it's just got a double back door baffle set up in it. Um, we run the one pump, we never have slosh issues. You can run it till it's almost dry. It's perfect. Very cool. The radiators lean back pretty far. You guys have, uh, you guys ever had cooling issues with it? Not necessarily. The one thing that we did run into was we didn't make any sort of wheel wells. We plan on making like some carbon ones or something like that and yeah. we would just get packed with all the dirt. Right. So we were sitting there for probably an hour trying to plan out how we were going to do uh, something to, yeah, how, you know, how to block off all that and still have air coming through. And then we just decided to get some door screen yeah. and put it over the radiator. So now we just pull that off, spray it every once in a while. And I'm a big fan. And it's good to go. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. I see that. Yeah. And just like kind of sticking with the theme of what we were talking about before simplicity is exactly, everything so yeah. don't overcomplicate it just yeah. do whatever works and i think you guys nailed it on this thing dude i i really like it thank you nice simple bash bar setup yep i'm such a fan of these these are so cool that's the same the same panel that he actually hit the wall at irwindale really yeah. i remember that that was like a full like yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i mean it it doesn't look bad yeah it's cool you just Band-aid it, wet up some new carbon, throw it on the back, tape the front so it kind of stays where it needs to be and give it a few hours. Very cool. So what kind of wheels are these? There's a company out of Denver called SK Forge and I hit him up and I was like, hey man, let's partner up on something. So I sat down with their designer and we came up with this. They're called the SK Stukies, which I thought was pretty neat after my last name. And so this is a you you designed this yeah, wheel. Yeah, they're custom wheels. Wow. Yep. And they're 24 karat gold plated. Well, hey, I mean, all around beautiful car, guys. Nice job. I really appreciate your time. Thank Thanks you. for showing us around. Appreciate it. Oh yeah. Cool.